back music mavericks. Hold on to your headbands and platform boots because we're about to crank up the volume on a time traveling tunescape. Today's adventure takes us on a wild ride through the history of music players from the days of crackling cylinders to the era of pocket sized playlists. Let's dive in and don't forget to like and follow for more exciting explorations. First stop, the 1870s, where Thomas Edison, the ultimate gadget guru, invented the gramophone. Picture this, a giant brass horn with a needle that danced on spinning metal cylinders, pulling out scratchy renditions of your favorite tune. It might look like something Frankenstein cooked up after um, a late night tinkering session, but this clunky contraption was the OG music player, the first time folks could listen to recorded music at home. Think of it as a super old school podcast, but instead of Joe Rogan, you got scratchy waltzes and uh, Sousa marches. Not exactly dance floor material, but hey, it was a start. Fast forward a few decades, past the roaring 20s and swinging 30s and land smack dab in the 1940s. Boom, enter the record player. The flat turntable that spun those shiny black discs with grooves etching their souls. No more needle scratching cylinders. Now music danced through those grooves, bringing the smooth croons of Frank Sinatra and the electrifying riffs of Chuck Berry right into living rooms. Vinyl records weren't just music carriers. They were art objects adorned with colorful labels and liner notes that whispered stories of the artists in their times. Owning a record collection was like having your own mini museum of musical memories. In the 1960s, a new way to listen to music came to the scene. The eight track tape was like a portable party popping into cars in the and bringing music to the streets while vinyl records kept the beats going at home. Then in the late 70s, the new kid on the block entered the arena, the cassette player. These compact tape machines were like portable jukeboxes, letting you rewind, fast forward, and even make mixtapes for your besties. Remember those awesome cassette cases decked out with stickers and doodles? Those were the peak of cool. You could curate your own soundtrack for life, from disco beats to power ballads, all on a tiny tape that fit in your pocket. And let's not forget the satisfyingly click clack of ejecting a tape, pure mechanical magic. But just as cassette tapes were reaching their peak, the 1990s brought a digital revolution. This era also saw the emergence of compact disc, offering a new level of clarity and durability in music playback. CDs quickly became a popular medium celebrated for their ability to deliver high fidelity sound and their resistance to the wear and tear that plague tape format. The digital music player arrived soon after, a tiny wonder that ditched tapes and discs for memory chips that could hold thousands of songs. No more bulky players or scratch discs, just headphones and a pocket full of tunes. From Britney Spears to Michael Jackson, your entire music library fit right in your palm. You could shuffle your whole collection, create custom playlists for every mood, and even download new tracks from the mysterious world of the internet. This was a game changer, like going from a dusty record store to a global jukebox in a single leap. And the story doesn't end there. New ways to listen to music keep popping up like mushrooms after a rainstorm from streaming services to smart speakers. We've got virtual reality concerts, AI powered music generators, and even music you can control with your brain waves. The future of music is as limitless as your imagination, a never ending kaleidoscope of sounds and experiences. So next time you crank up your favorite jam, remember the groovy gadgets that came before? The ones that paved the way for your ultimate playlist. From the scratchy gramophone to the pocket-sized digital marble, every device is a gateway to exploring sick beats and catchy tunes, helping us connect with the music that moves us and share stories that stick with us. And that, my friends, brings our musical journey to a close. 
We've traveled from the crackle of the gramophone to the digital symphony in your pocket, and we've learned that music is more than just sound waves. It's a time machine, a cultural compass, and a never-ending source of joy. So keep listening, stay curious, and keep the beat alive. Don't forget to hit that like button and follow for more.